Hey, we're back, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, ladies and gents. <laughs> uh, this was the name that the social security number was under. We're not going to show you that. We've done it before, but we ain't going to do it again. I ain't got time for people testing me. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, and ladies, ladies and gents, we're doing the 3115 form. Give me one second. The 3115 form requires y'alls, y'alls, pay attention, y'alls, you all, y'alls, to fill out this form. Now, I'm an exempt organization. Why am I an exempt organization? Well, when you fill out this form, you're going to see these instructions. There's going to be a folder. It'll be put up today. The link for the folder will be underneath the video. Okay? Well, you'll be able to find the, this folder. See? Small tax exempt. Ta small taxpayer exception. Okay? But there is a six-digit principal business code that the form requires you to fill out. Now, there is something else you need to know. When you're filling out this form, you need to understand this. Automatic change procedure. There's a procedure for having your 3015 form change automatically. Follow the procedure. Follow the procedure. Follow the procedure. Now, these are the code. Non-depository credit. Intermediation. Okay. I'm a depository institution, so watch this, E-X-E-M-P-T. The first thing we'll do is we'll look for exempt. What? Of course there is exempt. It says it can't find the word exempt in here. I know it founds the words exempt. Oh, because these are business code, so it's nonprofit. So watch this, N-O-N, -N, non, non-depository, that's one of them, but that's not what we're, uh, let's do, yeah, let's do non-P, okay? Non-P, let's go, because, uh-oh, we can't do non-P for profit. It's probably non-hyphen profit, but let's find out. Non, 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 non-durable goods, non-durable goods. Uh-oh, so we ain't got non-profit, dang it. So let's find out what other depository. We're going to do that. D-E-P-O-S-I-T-O-R-Y. Depository. Depository credit intermediation, including commercial banking, savings institutions. Yeah, yes. So this is going to be a code that I'm going to possibly use. I can't tell you that I'm going to use this code, but a sample 3115 form will be up there for you all to fill in all the blanks. But hold on, let's see if we got another depository institution. That's none. So there are only two. So this is the one I am because I am a, pay attention, banking institution, not a financial institution, not a commercial banking institution. It includes commercial banking, but because it includes, it does not necessarily exclude. That's the rule. Finance, insurance, credit intermediation, and related activities. So you better believe it. You better believe it because under, see, banking institution is identified by Presidential Proclamation 2039. 2039, 2039. Okay, and I put the March 9, 1933 Act. That's what I'm going off of. And let's see. Cha-ching. Takes care of that. And then these boxes are checked. Yeah, it's such a boy. Durable tax year of change. Uh, during the tax year of change, did or will the applicant cease to engage in trade or business which request, requested change relates or terminate the existence of such? And no, 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 I will not cease. The is the applicant requesting change of principal method in the tax year change regulation section, blah, blah, blah? You better believe it and if no go to 6a if the applicant cannot if yes the applicant cannot follow 3154 for this change or then guess what give me that no because you you've seen the years i did the tax change in oh and the description other reliance upon supposed to be not an T-H-E. 
the provisions of the Trading with the Enemy Act as amended. <coughs> Sorry, that's my reliance. Uh, then it says go to line 6A. This is where you do your signatory. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you see where it says under penalties of perjury. See this right here? Now watch this. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to click off, we're going to click back on, we're going to get rid of this, this redness. Oh, my, 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 my. And then we're going to do this right here. We're going to bring this down to probably nine. Okay, you're eight then. Okay, that's that box right there. So now we're going to take this box and we're going to shape shift it. Uh-oh, not enough. Got to do that right there. Because I don't do nothing under nobody's penalty of perjury. Uh, I don't submit under no penalties. I just do. See, it says under penalty. Let's just do this. Let's just take the whole thing out. Let's take the whole under penalty thing out. And let's just do that right there. And so we got my box. And I'm going to pull it down. So that it's not covering that line. Okay. And then I'm going to bring it over. That way I ain't got to put nothing there. I declare I've examined the above application and the company schedules. The declaration of a preparer the applicant is based upon information the preparer. Uh, all on all information for which the preparer has any knowledge okay and then date and sign just that simple and see i can do my electronic signature on this document which is just as good and i can send it electronically okay now i want y'all to understand because it is necessary there are other levels this is part 6a i guess what you see this part right here I want y'all to follow. Let's go all the way down to the bottom. Because I started from the bottom. But I had to made it to the top, homie. Okay. Uh, let me get rid of that box, that text box thing, so I can move faster. Come on now. Come on now. Let's move it. I, I, come on now. It don't want me to move. Do you see there's no more signatures at the bottom? It is not necessary for you to fill this out, in my opinion, but that's going to be up to you because I am not filling this out. Okay? Why? Because my signature is up here. Okay, now it says, if no, go to line 6A. Well, no, then that means that I'm not supposed to fill this out? Of course I'm going to fill this out. And I'm going to send them their 3115 form. Now, technically, uh, Foundation Group, the answer is no method of accounting, requested change, issue, consolidation, respecting the applicant. Uh, see, it don't let you do NA, but I would probably, uh, does audit protection apply to applicants' request for change in method of accounting? And is, there's this thing called audit protection. Okay, I don't know what audit protection is. Oh, that's because your taxes have already been audited. I ain't got time for that. I, I don't have time for that. I'm just going to send them the 315 form. I'm going to let them know that I have changed my tax accounting methods. Now, this is what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen. I don't care what you do. So let me show you what I'm going to do. Delete pages. Oh, it won't even let me get rid of pages. So we're going to save, what page is this right here? This page one? Nah, this can't be page one. Yeah, it says page one. Okay, that's page two. So that, this got to be page one. So watch, y'all just going to love, y'all going to love me. Hold on, watch this. We're going to say, no, wait, we can't save. We got to print. 
we got to print, y'all. Now, this is important, y'all. Pay attention. We got to print, and when we print, what we're going to do is we're going to print, and we're going to print a page. So right here is page one, TikTok. And I'm going to print, not to my printer, I'm going to print to Microsoft Print 2 PDF. Now, i got to pause you all for a second. One... Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what I want you all to do is to follow me. One quick seed. Uh, we're going to go to SACCOM. It's going to be under the promissory note folder. Okay, under the promissory note folder, we're going to create a directory and enter into it. We're going to say IRS3115. P-R-O-C-E-S-S. -S. And we're going to click. Oh, Mama, he just clicked. It just clicked, Mama. He clicked and it clicked and it just click, click, click. So we'll be right back. So y'all hold on for one more, one more again. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's hot and muggy, humid day because we have another one. I want to let you know that what I have done is the files are uploaded now. They're under a legal understanding in the PDF, promissory notes, and then IRS 3115 process. All of the information is right there on what you need to do. Okay, it's not complicated. Just stick to the facts. Don't add all that other junk, and you'll be okay. And now you can use the 315 method when you file your taxes, the accrual method. By the way, that accrual document that I put up there, let me see if I can find the accrual document. Clerk of the court. I, I did the letter, but now I got I to gotta find it, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to have to pause y'all one more again so I can find it so I can put. Yeah, the problem is I had not fully saved it at the time. So what I do is I go back and I go forward, back and forth, you know, Aaliyah. And by doing that, it'll pull it up and I'll put that accrual document in the very same. What are you doing? Don't be right down nothing. All right, fine. That's the dog asking me to spray them with water. And you should see them putting their chin up, making sure they get every bit of the, the so-called mist. And I'm not joking. They literally ask me to spray them with water. That's our routine. And that's what I go through with these creatures. So this is a temporary, but I'm saying keep your own accounting because if you don't understand the accrual method, it's offset. That's all it is, it's offset. You don't have to do it the way I did it. You just, to make it simple, you create one side of the ledger and another side of the ledger. And this is your offset procedure. And this is your offset result. You technically should, technically should be ending up with zeros, ladies and gentlemen, on this side. You technically should be ending up with zeros. You can even add up this column and this column, but you should be, you should be ending up with zero. Take all of your bills, all of the companies you do business with, and write that junk off. Use the accrual method in the 3115 form and get your money back. Everybody should be charging this stuff off, writing it off, and getting their money back. You are creating debts. You're not supposed to be creating debts. That's why you're an enemy of the United States. You can even write them and let them know, you know, I've been creating debt all this time and I didn't even realize it. So I'm sorry, y'all. I wasn't trying to uh, create more problems for the United States. Lord, have mercy. What was I thinking? So let me go ahead and correct that right now. I'm going to follow this method and I'm going to use this method from now on. You feel me? That's what I'm doing. So if y'all got any problems with it, y'all go ahead and tell me emphatically that I can't do this. Tell me that there is no provision in law that says that anybody can do this and I won't do it. But if somebody else gets to do it, then I'm doing the same thing they get to do. Y'all don't mind, do y'all, if I follow equal protection of law principles? So that's what I'm doing. Wait a minute. Didn't I just spray your buddy down? What is wrong with y'all? Sorry. That was only because I did one and he's back. Okay. The one that I sprayed down is back and he is wanting a whole lot more. Okay, okay, okay. You're saying that's enough. He's telling me that was enough. He doesn't want to be drenched. Well, you know, because I overdid it. 
you keep bothering me, asking me for more water, I'm going to give you more than what you can drink. Okay, uh, they're not drinking it. They're just uh, letting the wind blow on them and being cool. Because that's C O O L. What's that spell? I don't know. Cool. I'm so cool. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, so this is the video on the accrual method. My way. I don't care about the accountants. Do it yourself. Keep your own books. If they come to you telling you you can't do it this way, say, I need you to prove to me I can't do it this way. Because if you don't understand, the banks have two sets of ledgers. Two sets. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want you all to see one ledger over here, another ledger over here. I'm offsetting it on this side. I'm documenting it on this side. I'm debiting the account. I'm crediting the account. That's all I'm doing. And I'm using not GAAP. Who cares about generally accepted principles? Pay attention. Generally accepted principles. There is no law that says I can't do my math this way. Go ahead. Take a look. There is no money. I'm sorry. Would you stop that? God, I know there is no money. What is it? Okay, so if there isn't any money, then I'm not defrauding anybody. There is no money. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no money. Well, what's money? Hold on. Let me show y'all what money is. Because y'all don't seem to understand. Ladies and gentlemen, we've talked about this, and so we're going to talk about it again. Hold on. Control F N E W. M-O-N-E-Y, new money. This section of the bill provides for, it was right above me and I didn't even look, for the issuance of new money. I need to understand how this new money is to be handled. Well, let me tell you how the new money is to be handled. Upon deposit with the Treasury, the new money is contractual obligations of the United States and any notes, bills of exchange, drafts, bankruptcy acceptances, this new money is what is going to be deposited as security and gold for the Federal Reserve notes. See, the new money is the gold. The notes, the obligations, the bills of exchange, the bankers' acceptances, that's the new gold, people. Congress didn't get rid of the gold clause. They just changed the definition of what gold is. Wait a minute. Hold on. What you say? I said Congress did not get rid of the gold clause. They, under the New Deal, changed the definition of what gold is. So gold is still money in the United States. It's just the new gold is, pay attention, the notes, the drafts, the bills of exchange, the bankers' acceptances, and the contractual obligation. Now, I can't help you understand that because you people still think that Federal Reserve notes is money. Well, they are, but you still think that that's the only money. Well, it is. No, it isn't. Legal tender, according to these individuals, hold on. I just put in legal tender, and you won't see it nowhere in the act. So what we do is we don't do legal tender. What do we do? We do like for like, kind for kind. These notes, drafts, bills of exchange, bankers' acceptances, so deposited as security, shall be obligations of the Federal Reserve Bank and shall be redeemable and receivable in all parts of the United States and shall be used for the same purposes as national bank notes, which are legal tender. Just put in national bank notes are legal tender. Well, if national bank notes are legal tender, so are the notes, drafts, bills of exchange, and government obligations. That's legal tender. So you can use legal tender to pay off everything, your car loan, your student loan, legal tender. Use legal tender. Some of y'all ain't going to get it, but I can't help that. Okay, watch this. This is the last thing we're going to do, and we're going to cut this video off. Hold on. Watch this. N-A-T-I-O-N-A-L-B-A-N-K-N-O-T-E-S-A-R-A-L-E-G-A, -E legal tender. Now, this one says still legal tender, and I don't like the word still legal tender. But the fact that it uses the word still legal tender means that they were legal tender. So, in 1933, Congress changed the law so that 
All U.S. coins and currencies, including Federal Reserve notes, regardless of when issued, constitute legal tender for all purposes. Okay, legal tender, ladies and gentlemen. What site is this? This is federalreserve.gov. Federalreserve.gov just told you that the federal bank notes are also legal tender, ladies and gentlemen, which means for the same purposes are your bills of exchange, drafts, notes, banker's acceptances. Okay, they even had it here. Lawful money, the term used in the Federal Reserve Act, the act that authorizes the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve to issue Federal Reserve notes. The act states, and it does not state Federal Reserve notes, that Federal Reserve notes shall be obligations of the United States receivable at all national banks and Federal Reserve banks and for taxes, customs. It doesn't state that. It does not state that, people. They shall be redeemable and lawful money upon demand at the Treasury Department of the United States. In the city of Washington, District of Columbia, the act does not state that, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't say nothing about the city of Washington. Hold on. Let me prove it to you. If I was wrong, if I was wrong, then I was admitted. Okay? Like I said, the act does not state that. The code says that. Now, hold on. District of Columbia... The act did not, however, define the term lawful money. But up until 1913, the only currency issued in the United States that was legally recognized as lawful money was the various demand notes, subsequently known as old demand notes, or the United States notes authorized by Congress during the Civil War. These were the national bank notes, ladies and gentlemen. At the time, some currency did not was not considered legal tender, sir. Legal tender, sir. Anyway, legal tender, although it could be used by national banking associations as lawful money reserves. Thus, the term lawful money had a broader term than legal tender. In 1933, Congress changed the law of the United States coins and blah, 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 blah. It is typical of the federal and state courts cases holding that Federal Reserve notes are lawful money. The courts don't get the hold what is lawful money and what isn't lawful money. What you guys need to know is I want you to take this from the Federal Reserve website. I want you to use this in conjunction with what you've heard me talk about right here because this says for the same purposes as national banknotes. Just just saying is all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got to go, but I told y'all that was going to be the last thing I showed y'all. Some, some, sometime y'all going to pay attention to me. Y'all going to hear what I'm saying because some of I didn't mean to change that, but I got to go anyway. Adios.